Bay Park Lake and Beach Access. And as you can see, uh, in the aftermath of the storm, uh, the uh, handicap access has been damaged and the actual steps, which you'll see right here, uh, the steps down to the beach from the walkway have been completely torn off and the small pergola over uh, the area here has been tilted. Uh, you can just see down the beach here the complete line of how the uh, sea has come up and flattened, uh, completely flattened the slope of the beach. Um, the steps at Rollins Dunes have been ripped off here as well. sand uh, to a crest of 13 feet. Uh, here you can see the storm has eaten away the, uh, the dune and actually uh, the crest itself probably has been now lowered to around 11 feet above sea level. The uh, new construction of uh, three homes at the end of Rollins Dunes and uh, these homes now are completely uh, vulnerable to any breach. Uh, on the left side, you can see the lake extending inland uh, towards the intracoastal. seas and lower tide you can see uh, just how much beach remains uh, the thin sliver of sand here um, the at high tide uh, the water is right up abutting the dune and uh, eating away at the dune uh, there isn't much left uh, as you can see right here. Uh, the grasses did their job, but uh, they're no match for holding back the sea. and I expressed this to the commissioners uh, when they undertook the Bay Park project was that if there was a breach here of the dune in a future storm uh, they were creating a deep channel inland uh, for water to move uh, directly towards unimpeded uh, directly towards the intracoastal and this could uh, create a complete flooding disaster for Sea Colony, uh, for our area here towards the north in uh, Marineland Acres, and uh, sever uh, the hammock in two right across A1A in the event of a, uh, a storm. And you can see this has just been a nor'easter. 
but imagine in a uh, category one hurricane, this is gonna be breached and uh, water's gonna flow just like the breach north of Marineland, right across into the intracoastal. If another inlet for seawater is created, uh, the danger for Flagler counties uh, and Palm Coast uh, is significant. Uh, if seawater flows directly into the intracoastal, uh, pushed by the winds, uh, it will probably result in flooding in Palm Coast proper.